Hello everyone, I'm Marcus. You're watching Tesla Simplified, where we talk about all things EV. Thank you to all new subscribers and welcome everyone. If you haven't seen my video about the limitations of the Tesla Semi's batteries, check it out. Link below and at the end of the video. What a sight. Two photos taken at Frito Lay's site shows at least eight Tesla Semi's parked side by side. Before today, we have never seen so many Tesla semis in one place. We still don't know how many more were delivered, but it looks like the fleet has grown. The semi is currently built in low volumes, but Tesla has announced a $3.6 billion expansion at the Giga Nevada factory for Tesla semis mass production. Tech and cost advantages of the Tesla semi. 35% more efficiency in the engines and 20% in the powertrain over other electric semis. Tesla semi is about 70% more cost efficient than diesel semis. The Tesla semi battery weighs about five tons, but the fuel, the tank, the transmission, and other parts in a diesel truck weigh about 2.4 tons. So the Tesla semi only has about 1.4 tons of lower payload in the US in 0.4 tons of lower payload in Europe versus diesel trucks. Also, US laws permit electric trucks to have an overall weight of 2,000 pounds over diesel trucks, and European law permits electric trucks to have an overall weight of 4,000 pounds over the diesel trucks. I have said it many times in other videos, and I'm going to say it again. Long haul truckers driving 800 plus miles a day going all over the US for loads will not be using the electric semi trucks in the next two to three years or even more. The tech and the charging just isn't there yet. But it does work for shorter trips, like in Pepsi's situation. Their trucks will charge at the Pepsi location and they will go from a specific bottling plant or Frito Lay's plant to nearby cities for deliveries. The trucks will return to the Pepsi factory to recharge and then get more loads. Keep in mind that Pepsi has received a $15 million grant from the state of California and they are installing at least four 750 kilowatt chargers on site. Another situation where the electric semi trucks will work moving is moving freight from port to truck or port to rail. Typically, it's a short distance that can be covered in about one to two hours, and therefore almost always within the same geographical area. There are 250,000 to 300,000 class, class 8 trucks sold each year in the US. If Tesla hits its goal of selling 50,000 Tesla Semi in 2024, and perhaps 5,000 to 10,000 in 2023, this would be less than 1.5% of all Class A trucks in the US. Tesla seems to be entering the Class 8 market at the right time since there is a 15 month wait for a new diesel Semi truck today. Again, the Tesla Semi will not work for all situations, but a, a good dispatcher will know which truck to use for each situation. In situations where it does work, it will save companies a lot of money, and that's what matters in the end for these companies. That's it for this video. Again, please like and subscribe. Let me know if I missed anything. Thank you for watching. See you next time.